Day 323. The most intense fights continue to take place in Solidar. Today the front line here evened out, and the Ukrainians established their next defense line along the railways. This new defense line leverages the local geography and creates a series of natural obstacles that are expected to slow down the pace of Russian advancement. Nonetheless, this defense line is not perfect, and here is why. Last time I told you that the Ukrainians have retreated from the central part of Solidar to the west in order to escape the imminent encirclement. The encirclement was imminent because after the fall of Yakovlevka, the Russians gained access to the local heights and despite the Ukrainians' efforts, gradually expanded it around Solidar. I also told you that I do not expect the Ukrainians to hold the second salt mine area for too long because it is very hard to deliver supplies there as many segments of the roads leading to this industrial area are under Russian fire control. Today the Ukrainians stepped back to the third salt mine area, supporting my analysis. The evidence of the further retreat served a footage posted by the Wagner forces where they have been walking through the streets slightly to the north of the salt mines. The main Ukrainian defense line right now goes through the Sil station and the third salt mine. Many Russian sources are saying that the Ukrainians are preparing a massive counterattack. For example, some say that the Ukrainians are deploying their strategic reserve in order to conduct a counterattack from the north of Solodar. Other sources say that the Ukrainians have already conducted a counterattack today, and it was from the south. In this supposed counterattack, the Ukrainians deployed combined units of several airmobile brigades and tried to attack from Paraskovivka but Russian Air Force allegedly detected and destroyed hundreds of Ukrainian troops and a lot of Western armored vehicles. However, this is completely inconsistent with the changes that we can observe on the ground. If the Ukrainians plan to return control over the central part of the region, why would they simultaneously retreat from the second salt mine area? This industrial zone would be an essential object that would be leveraged by the Ukrainian forces. For this reason, I do not think that the Ukrainians have tried to break into the central part of Solidar, or that they are even preparing to do it. It is true that the concentration of the Ukrainian forces to the north of Solidar has increased, but the reasons are different. Apart from holding the last two positions in Solidar, which are the salt mine and seal station, the Ukrainians are trying to build their defense line along the railways. There are advantages and disadvantages to holding this line. On the one hand, the Ukrainians are stopping the front line from the collapse, which means that the Russians still have to fight for each and every defensive position, and nothing is given away for free. The Ukrainians established their positions along the railway embankment, and embankments proved to be a significant impediment in this war. The settlements are also not too sparsely located, which allows having more covered positions and small warehouses with ammunition and supplies. On the other hand, the Russians are still controlling the heights, which allows them to have a lot of supply roads under fire control. In general, this defense line serves as a great impediment on the technical level, although it gives no significant advantages on the tactical level. As of now, the Russians are preparing to attack Krasnohora and Paraskovivka. They reportedly got very close to the settlements, allowing them to establish direct fire control over some segments of the important supply roads. Some sources also say that the Russians deployed their airborne forces for these specific tasks, not the Wagners. The Russians previously were not able to advance on Krasnohora from the east, which is why they focused more on Pidhorodnya. But now, with Pidhorodnya under their control, the Russians have launched several reconnaissance groups to the south of Krasnohora. Overall, the battle for Solodar has almost ended. The Ukrainians gradually retreated to the next defense line and did not allow the front line to collapse. Russian forces will likely continue storming the Sil station and salt mine with the same intensity, but unlikely for too long because these positions are quite detached from the city and do not allow the block-by-block -block advancement while being under cover of the surrounding buildings. Hopefully we will see stabilization of the front line in the next several days. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I'm doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols, 
to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.